Welcome to all Caribbean entrepreneurs. If you've been ready and waiting to take your business digital and get paid online while you sip something strong on the beach, this podcast is for you. We'll hear from the Caribbean's finest entrepreneurs on topics like e-commerce, business development, brand building, social media, their wins and failures. This is the only place in the region helping you navigate the digital age from the Caribbean's perspective. This is Digipreneur FM. And now, let's give it up for the Digiboss himself, Mr. Karan Rose. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody tuning in to another episode of the Digipreneur FM podcast. <laughs> As usual, it is your boy, it is your boy, Mr. Karan Rose. Gosh, I, I do love that intro music. But DJ, DJ, do your thing. Fade us all the way out. We got to talk to the good folks in the Digipreneur FM family. <laughs> June 17th, Friday, 2022. Folks, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? As always, it is it is a it is a pleasure and a privilege to be here doing what uh, I do, you know, in contributing to the community all across the Caribbean region, the diaspora, and the rest of the world. You know, um, I'm always reminded. I'm always reminded of this that it's it's amazing what happens when you have a local focus. And you're able to turn it into a global reach. So, you know, my content has typically been geared towards Caribbean entrepreneurs in the region and and the diaspora. But the reality is, is that, you know, the content that we are talking about, even though it's, it's global and it comes from the Caribbean perspective, you know, people from outside of the region and outside of the diaspora, you know, still tune in because... You have people who are constantly researching and looking for, you know, how people are doing things in different parts of the world. You know, so we have a when when we watch a lot of the American YouTubers or podcasters or the British or the Canadian or the African um, YouTubers and podcasters. They are preaching about the things that are happening in their industry. Yes, they're going to be principles and strategies that, you know, are are globally recognized. But the reality is, is that their 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 focus is on their market and what's happening in theirs. And it's a good thing because, you know, we outside of those in outside of those markets, we can look and see what is happening in their markets and see what similarities you know we have or what strategies are working for the situations and problems that they have that we could adopt and i always find that one of the biggest problems that we have especially in trinidad is that and it, this is a problem that 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 happens throughout the caribbean but i'm in trinidad right now so you know it's a bit it's a, it's closer to home obviously but one of the biggest problems is that you know people in trinidad don't want to speak to the problems that are happening in trinidad i'm talking about the business community so a lot of the content that they create the the focus is on being recognized internationally there or at least at least recognized in the u.s so they're constantly creating content or talking about things to appease the u.s markets that they can be in those conversations and get noticed over there but what ends up happening is that a lot of the strategies that they end up talking about are irrelevant for their own for their own region and i and to me you know one of our biggest unique identifiers is that we have an entire region where we can speak to things happening here and have local focus and still get global reach because the people that you're trying to attract on the outside, they're looking at other markets that they can learn from, that they can take from and adopt for their markets. So if we are here physically in Trinidad or in the Caribbean and we are constantly creating content that caters to other markets like the U.S. or the U.K., wherever you are or wherever you're trying to appease to, right, remember they have millions of people there that are doing their own thing over there that they're going to be able to learn from, right? 
what people really want is they want to be able to research the world and see what is happening in other places so that they could adopt some of those strategies. And that's one of the what's one of the biggest things that, you know, I realize just doesn't really happen here. I don't really see many people, you know, creating content <clears throat> or solutions to solve problems that are happening here. All right. And then talking about it. So that idea of having that local focus and global reach is is, is key. And it's something that I'm constantly reminded of, especially when I look at, you know, the podcast downloads, right? What countries are listening to the podcast and downloading the podcast? I'm just pulling this up real quick. And for me, over the last, you know, two weeks, we're looking at the June numbers for the podcast. You know, only two countries of my top five downloads are in the Caribbean. So number one is Trinidad, two is the U.S., Three is Panama, four is Argentina, five is Jamaica, and six is Cyprus, all right? And for the most part, you know, looking at the top 20 downloads, we have downloads that are coming in from, uh, or we have downloads coming in from uh, France, uh, the, the United Arab Emirates, Brazil, Switzerland, UK, Italy, Nigeria, Sweden, Singapore, Right, we have South Africa. We have downloads that come in from all over the globe and significant ones at that. Right, you know, so when I see places like a Panama, Argentina, Brazil, Cyprus, um, Ireland, France, when I see these countries constantly, you know, with some substantial downloads of the podcast, you know, again, it just it just gives credence to that whole local focus global reach people are you know looking to see what is happening in the caribbean and looking to see you know what they could learn and take from there and then again when people do reach out from these other countries and they kind of just firm up that same notion like hey you know we have the same problems in in south africa or we had a similar problem in france or again maybe you have people who are living in the diaspora or living in some of these other countries and they're trying to learn as much as they possibly can because they're thinking about moving to the caribbean all right so Local focus, global reach, that's a bit of my opening <laughs> for this podcast, but it's also not the topic that I'm jumping on here to talk to you about today. So, oh boy, I think this is, a, this is another episode where I have, I had a, a whole uh, planned out episode, right? And that's going to be my next episode. I'm going to get to that. But I woke up and as I'm eating my breakfast, you know, drinking my tea, you know, I'm just going over my notes for the for the episode that I wanted to deliver today. And I just started to scroll on social media and just got inspired in a whole other different direction. I'm like, you know what? This is the this is the beauty of, of being a content creator um, and being someone who, you know, I don't I, I don't like to do content calendars um, because I would what always happens to me is I could create a plan for what I want to do on what days and talk about but then when it comes time to deliver on that day to record right I might not be in that mood or something else might pop up and I'm like nah I gotta talk about this right now <laughs> and so the episode I had planned I'll do that for I'll do that for my next episode but while I was going through social media today, all right, in Trinidad and Tobago right now, we have, you know, what is pretty much like a five-day long weekend. We had Corpus Christi uh, yesterday, and we have another holiday. We have another holiday on Monday, I believe. What holiday is that? Monday is Labor Day, all right? Monday is Labor Day. So yesterday on Thursday, June 16th, was Corpus Christi. And then June 20th, Monday, we have Labor Day, right? So, and then, you know, it, it's Friday. So, you know, today is supposed to be a working day, but we all know in, in, in Caribbean, you know, we're, we're taking that day off. So it's going to be a five-day weekend for, you know, a lot of people. <laughs> but anywho, I, I'm on social media and I'm scrolling a little, a little bit and I'm, I'm seeing, you know, all of the parties that are happening. And the parties that are happening are, you know, they're, they're extravagant. We've been locked down for two plus years. You know, people are finally able to go outside, enjoy themselves, you know, in large numbers and party like they've never partied before, right? And something, something happened for me. 
I'm here thinking like, yo, I haven't partied. I haven't partied, like gone to a party, a proper party since, since Carnival 2020. So it's been two plus years since I've gone to a proper party. Right before, you know, we started the initial lockdown in Trinidad for the pandemic, right? And I did a couple of parties that year. I enjoyed myself, right? Now, what I typically do, since I, st- since I started my business, I've had to, and again, this is going to tie in to the episode, but since I've started my business, um, I've really had to, you know, buckle down on the party, right? Naturally. And, you know, I, what I would do is I would, I, would, I would allow myself to, you know, when carnival time comes, man, I'm going to go out and, and I'm going to enjoy myself, right? Since I've started my business. So, let, okay, you know what? Let me, let me intro the, the topic of what I wanted to talk about. The topic I wanted to get into today is delayed gratification and why delayed gratification is probably the most important skill set or men or mindset change that needs to happen for entrepreneurs especially early stage entrepreneurs right people who are now getting started in building their business um this is something that you know you gotta get really good at so anyways now that i've said the topic let me get back to my thing right so i'm scrolling through social and i'm seeing all the parties and i'm like damn i ain't partying i ain't party in a minute, I ain't go dance on a girl, I ain't go buy a drink at the bar, I ain't go outside, step out, look good, I ain't do none of that in a while. And I'm like, yo, I could do with a good party. I could do with one right about now, right? I'm due. I shucks, I've been working hard. I'm due. <laughs> and in that same breath of me saying that, Yo, I'm due for a good party. You know what? It's long weekend. Let me go. Let me go and look to see what kind of parties are out. Shucks. Let me go. Let me go hit a party, right? Now, this is all, you know, what I'm thinking as I'm seeing all the party videos going on, right? And then it hit me. Yo, why would I do a party right now? Bro, you got a lot happening right now your mindset your resources your money your time and energy are needed into so many amazing things right now that when you put the money your mindset your energy and resources into the things that are happening for you right now what is going to come out of it in the medium, not even long term, but long term, long term naturally, but even in the medium is going to be way more beneficial and more satisfying and gratifying than you taking this instant win or this immediate gratification by going out to a party. So if you follow me on social media right now, you guys would know that over the last month and change, I've been going through a home renovation, right? A full out gutting of my entire home and renovating everything from floor to ceiling. Naturally, that ain't cheap. (laughs) And you never know how not cheap it is. Until you're going through the process and you're like, oh, wow, this got to fix. This got to change. How much is that? Oh, shoot. Okay, we were, I was going to cheap out on this, but I've decided not to cheap out and I got to go in, you know, let me spend the extra money now and invest. Yo. And you start to realize that, you know, life is a, is really a mix of, of, of delayed gratification. There are times you got to, you know, jump out, do your thing, have your fun. But delayed gratification is really a skill set that is, that is needed in building your business, right? And so while I'm seeing the parties and I'm seeing, you know, tons and tons and tons of, you know, people enjoying themselves and having their fun, 
I'm reflecting on my own self and I'm thinking, man, you know what? As much as I would love to do this right now, you know, when I think about, you know, what has to happen for me to go and party, I'm 35 now, right? Now, I might, I don't, I don't get hangovers and I don't drink to throw up, but I drink. I have my fun when I go out. So I know me. I'm going to go out. I'm going to spend my money. So that means I'm going to go, I'm going to go buy an outfit. Then it's money for the tickets and the tickets. A lot of these parties ain't cheap, especially if you're not planning to do it and you want to buy it last minute. You know, we're seeing tickets, you know, selling for 400 TT when you buy them, you know, at the locations. But then if you're last minute ticket prices for these events are doubling and tripling the amount. So, you know, I'm not planning to go to any party. So if I do jump out, chances are I'm going to be spending two to three times the amount of the ticket, which is already, you know, crazy. So, you know, um, I'm seeing some of these tickets going for like 900 uh, TT dollars, 1,000 TT dollars, which is insane for a party. Then you got to go, then you got to go, you're buying your drinks, right? You're spending money. And it's 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 trans it's money to 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 get to the venues and get back home and whatnot. When you tally it up, and you realize you've spent two thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on one night, given everything that has happened, because you know even with when it when it comes to women, women getting their hair done, their nails done, you know they want to look good, so they're getting their shoes, they're getting their outfits and everything. Done. Listen, it's a lot of money spent. To go outside right now to go and party. And while you have the people saying, Yeah, but you know, we've been locked up, it's worth it, you gotta blow you gotta blow off some steam and whatnot. The reality is is that when you are an entrepreneur, right, when you are really trying to build something, delayed gratification is what you have to work on. Because that two thousand dollars, right? That a th- that thousand dollars to two thousand dollars. That is investment money into my business. That could be money for ads. There's new equipment that I want that you know I I I I'd either have to save some money for or you know I got to spend that money on. And then when it's not the money to spend on the parties, it's you know it's it's how you feel afterwards. So at thirty five now. You know, even if even when I don't get a hangover, I'm sluggish. I'm mad sluggish for a day, two days after I go to a party. Before that alcohol, you know, leaves my system and I get back to being 100%, you know, feeling like how I would be for the party. And, you know, now that... I'm getting booked more. I'm getting featured more. I'm doing more interviews, more workshops, more speaking gigs and whatnot. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard. It's harder now to go two to three days without being 100%. Right? So like today, for example, I wake up my usual time, 3 or 4 a.m., get my reading done if i have courses to do i didn't do a course today but i did my readings today um then i decided you know what i was gonna push the podcast episode and do it tomorrow because i'm like i'm looking ahead i'm like yo my day i got a long day right i got a very very long day ahead but i'm like you know what let me not push it tomorrow let me get this done i i i'm inspired to do it let me get it out the way let me do it right so we know that we're doing the podcast, jump in here, start recording the podcast. 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock is the start of the, the Flow Business Innovation uh, three-week conference, right? I have a whole hour-long workshop in the conference that is Caribbean-wide. And while the focus is on Caribbean, is, is on the entire Caribbean region, we're in over... We're in over 16 countries in the Caribbean for this conference, right? But then there's still people from the diaspora tuning in that are going to be attending this event and watching this event, right? There's over 4,000 people registered for this event. I got to I gotta bring my A game. And when I'm looking at the names that are featured as speakers 
for this event. It's no small fries. It's no small fries. And I might be, I might be the most, I might be the name on the card where, you know, internationally, I'm not as, I'm, I'm not as recognized as, as the people on the card, which means that those individuals are going to be bringing their crowd and their fan base. So when it's my time to step up to the plate, I can't slouch. I'm not going to slouch. I can't slouch, right? I got to show why I'm, my name is there on the card with them, right? And then after the workshop, it's Friday. We got the Digital World Radio Show, and that's on air. That's on, that's on, that's on, that's on radio. That's viewed internationally as well. And that show is three hours long. So from 10 a.m., to 3 p.m., all I'm doing is talking. Workshops, teaching, talking from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then I'm doing the podcast this morning, right? And then again, my day started at 3 o'clock in the morning because I woke up early to do what I got to do. So hitting these parties, putting myself in a situation where physically taking me out for two, three days you know, just recovering from the party, you know, isn't isn't something I could afford to do right now, especially as somebody who is up and coming, getting their business off the ground, getting their brand off the ground, still building their name, right? That money that I would have spent on the party, that is going into other things to invest in myself and my business, right? Delayed gratification. Now, there's a, there's a balance. I definitely believe there's a balance that has to be struck because you don't want to delay, 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 constantly delay gratification to the point where you never, you go through life never enjoying it because you just keep pushing off your things. I believe, I believe, um, I definitely believe there's a balance, but hear me out. Here's where, here's where, like, for me personally, again, I'm going to give you guys my personal stories, and then you guys can take, you know, from it what you can. Either you guys will agree or take something from it, or you guys disagree, but again, the conversation is still there, right? So I look at it like this. I'm in a season, I'm in my season of heavy delayed gratification, where I'm willing to delay you know, 90 to 95% of all of my gratification right now for, you know, for later, because I, I, I'm seeing greater things happening, right? Now, the reason why I could, I, I'm, I'm willing to delay so much is because for me, I look at it like this. I've been partying and going out and enjoying my life to the fullest from from high school, I'd say from like 15, 16 when I was in high school, I felt like I was doing the most. I was traveling. I was partying. I spent stupid money. I was making great money. From since, from since I left high school, I've been making good money. And I've been doing the most. And I felt like anything I wanted my whole mindset for the longest time was anything I wanted, I'm going to go out and get it. And I wasn't delaying nada. I was going to go out and I was getting it. Right? I was going out and getting it. So from high school, I wanted new shoes. I wanted clothes. I wanted new phones. I wanted I want whatever I wanted. I worked hard. I went out and got it. Didn't care what the cost was. I was going to get it. One way or the next, I was going to get it. And now I've been, I've been building my business for the last six years and slowly but surely I've been delaying the gratification because now it's like, yo, all right, I'm not going to buy the new phone. I'm not going to buy the upgrade because that money could go into a new course or it can go into a new tool, <clears throat> a new tool that I need. And once I get that new tool, I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z. And if I could do X, Y, and Z, then that would allow me to either grow my, the brand 
or allow me to make more money or something, right? And I've just been looking at everything in a, in a, in a way that, you know, do I need this right now? Do I want this right now? How is this going to help my future self? How is delaying this or how is getting this right now? How is this going to help my future self? And I'm thinking about all of these things while I'm looking at the parties and whatnot. And then I'm looking at, you know, I think this week, this week, day, especially this week. I've had to make some decisions where, again, delayed gratification. So a couple of things that, listen, I, I listen, <laughs> money came in. I paid off my credit card to make two purchases this week that I did not end up purchasing. I seen an amazing deal on a 2017 iMac. Specked out to the max i7 processor, um, 40 gigs of RAM, 5K display. I seen an amazing deal. As a matter of fact, I'm talking about it right now, and I, I still might go out and purchase it after this podcast episode because the deal was so amazing, right? And I'm like, yo, but like my iMac right now, is doing every single thing I, I don't need to upgrade. It's doing everything I need. And I have a late 2012 iMac, i7 processor, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, a terabyte storage. Listen, it's an older machine, but guess what? It's beefed up and it does every single thing I need. It, it does everything I need. I don't need. I don't need to upgrade. I don't need to upgrade. It does every single thing I need. It does it. Quick is the word, I do not need to upgrade for what I do, right? Remember, you could be doing, you know, you could be in a different industry. You could be saying, man, that's not enough. I need this. I need that. You know, that machine would have worked for, for, for me. Cool. I'm saying that it works for every single thing I need. It works perfectly and then some for me. So I don't need the upgrade. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I want it because I like tech, right? And I know that it's a great deal. It's a steal of a deal. It the, the upgrade I seen was cost me 400 US for that for that 2017 model. 400 US. That's that's next to no money. In the grand scheme of things, that's no money. Right? And I put the money on my credit card. I'm like, "Man, I want to go and buy it now." And I was like, I had to stop myself because I'm like, I don't need it. Now, even when I sell the model, here's the crazy thing, right? Here's the crazy thing. Even when I sell my current iMac, I might only be out. If I play my cards right, I'm going to be out less than $1,000. TT, right? That's like less than 150 US. I'd be out less or just about that. And that, that is still no money, right? But for me, it's like I got to go and put the energy out into selling it and doing that bit. But then this was also a moment for me to exercise delayed gratification. Bro, you don't need it. What you have is mint condition. It's working, doing everything that you need. Let's hold off. Let's hold off. You don't need it. Let's hold off. And all that's doing is strengthening my delayed gratification muscle. Because again, I'm not going to be out. When I look at it, I'm not going to be out. It's not a lot of money. I'm going to lose just a small bit of money, right? There's nothing to say. There's nothing stopping me from getting that upgrade. And that's why I keep saying, I'm like, man, the more I think about it, I might go out and buy it still. <laughs> because there's no, real, there's no real loss. But... It's really just delaying, delaying that gratification. I don't need it. There's other ways for me to go out and spend that money. That $1,000 is not a lot of money, but that $1,000 could go to somewhere that's even more important right now in the, in the immediate future, right? The second thing I was, the second thing I put money on, uh, <clears throat> the second thing I was about to buy this week was the 
if you guys have seen my setup from my for my workstation, I have a Rodecaster Pro that I bought last year. Now the Rodecaster Pro came out in I think 2018 or 2019, but I only bought it last year. All right. And it's not even a, my Roadcaster one. I bought it brand new. I don't even have it for a year as yet. But guess what? The Roadcaster Pro came out. The Roadcaster Pro 2 came out two days ago. And same thing. I have the money. I can buy the Roadcaster Pro 2. And when I sell the old Roadcaster Pro 1, I'm like, give or take, I might be out $1,500 to $2,000 TT. And I'm okay with that because the Roadcaster is such a big money maker for me um, for what I do. And I need it, right? And all the latest features on the Roadcaster Pro 2, I need it. <laughs> Actually, no. There are some things I need, but the reality is, is that the Roadcaster Pro 1 does everything I need. Like, I don't, I don't actually need the upgrade. I want it because I'm going to be able to do more things, but I don't need it. And again, delayed gratification. I don't need it right now. I can get it at any point in time. I just don't need it right now. And so <clears throat> I decided to remove it from my cart. I just put it in the save for later. <laughs> I put it, I put it in the save for later because I know I'm going to upgrade. I know I'm going to upgrade my Roadcaster Pro 2. And the Roadcaster Pro 2 is more of a need than me upgrading my iMac. Right? Like I said, my iMac does everything I need. I don't do, I don't do video editing. I, I will edit my podcasts and whatnot. But in tandem with the Roadcaster, um, I don't have to do much editing. Because the Roadcaster Pro does so much of the work to give me what you guys hear on the podcast. And it helps me do my live streaming and my workshop. You know, so the Roadcaster Pro 2 gives me more power, more flexibility, more options to do even crazier things. So that is more of a need than upgrading my iMac, right? But at the same time, it's still not a need right this minute. I can hold off. I can hold off, all right? And so I put it in the save for later, delayed gratification again. And I started to think about, you know, what is happening in my life right now? Where does my focus, where does my time, my energy, and my resources need to be right now? Okay, you're not partying, right? You're putting that off. Um, the tools that you, that you want, you're, you're putting that in the, in, the, in the save for later. So what do you, where's your money? Where's your time, your energy, your resources Where's your mindset right now? What are we trying to do? And it came back to, bro, you are building a home. You are building a home right now. There are many people that are in the parties right now who are living paycheck to paycheck or they're business owners and that money that they're spending, that thousand, two thousand dollars that they're spending you know, even when they get in for free, you're still spending your money on drinks, money on outfits. And if you're not spending no money at all because you're good like that, you're still spending that time and energy in that. And you're still putting yourself in a situation that you need recovery time. Or at least I know I need recovery time. Even if I'm getting into that in the, in the thing free and I'm not spending no money, someone's picking me up and I'm, I'm not spending money on gas. I, I ain't buying a new outfit. I'm still there. I'm still going to drink. It's still going to take two, three days out of me to recover. And I don't have that right now. Right now, I don't have that. I don't have two, three days to recover and not be productive. I don't have that right now. We're building a house right now, renovating it floor to ceiling. Um, if, you've, if you've been on my Instagram stories or my Facebook stories or my WhatsApp stories, I made two big investments, and that was in um, two certifications from Digital Marketer, which is one of the top marketing institutions in the world right now. And the and one course for the digital marketing strategist was a thousand US. And the second course for the e-commerce marketing specialist was five hundred US. That's fifteen hundred US dollars spent on 
courses. Right? That's over 10,000 TT dollars. And that's just on two courses. And there's more that I want to do. And I'm investing in myself. I'm investing in those things because I know once I do those courses and I get better at what I do, I'm going to be able to create more opportunities for myself to earn more, build my name, build my brand bigger than what it is today. I'll be able to invest in my kids more. I'll be able to do more. And that is satisfying and gratifying all at the same time. So whilst I'm delaying gratification in one area, because Lord knows I want to go and wine and jam on somebody. <laughs> I want to go to a party. I want to go and wine in somebody fet tonight. I want to fet tonight. Shucks, I want to. Them parties looking good. But it ain't looking as good as when the contractors are coming and tiling. It ain't looking as good as when the contractors are coming and installing the new kitchen. It ain't looking as good as when the contractor calls me and says, boss, we went and we did a quote. We know everything in the country. The prices of everything is raising. And when the contractor calls me and says, boss, guess what? I'm at the store right now. Remember the thing that we priced out, you know, a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago? It gone up by X amount. What are we going to do? And I could say, man, just get it. Because I got it. Things that are an additional $500, $1,000, $2,000. I'm in a position today where I can afford it. I ain't rich. Whoa, I'm not rich. But that $2,000 that I would have spent on a party that I did not spend, guess what? It's coming back now because I can spend it on better countertops. That $1,000, you know, I would have been out spending on, the, uh, on, on, a, on an upgraded computer. Guess what? I can splurge a bit more on, 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 the, on the fancier tiles. So, where I'm spending the time, energy, money, and resources, and also that paradigm shift as to what has now become, you know, satisfying for me has changed. And so whereas a party, going out, enjoying myself, having that fun gives me that immediate gratification. What else gives me immediate gratification right now is being able to go out and renovate this home because it's all happening right now. But guess what? I'm able to do that because I've delayed gratification for years prior. And I've been investing in myself, investing in my business, and I'm reaping the rewards. I'm reaping the rewards of decisions I made over the past six years. So on one hand, it feels like immediate gratification where, like I said, I'm walking into a store and I'm saying, yeah, I want those towels. And I might be with a friend or a family member that says, oh, that's expensive. You sure you don't want to go with the cheaper one? And I'm like, no, it's expensive to you. Remember, expensive, quote unquote, is a relative term, right? Somebody I could go in with with richer people and we walk into the same store and I and I pick up something that, you know, I like that I can afford that, you know, I feel like is expensive. And they're like, oh, wow, you you like that cheap thing? You like that that cheap thing? No, man, we we got to get the. And I'm like, bro, I, I can't go to your section. <laughs> your, your, your tax bracket, the things that you could buy, your, your fancy towels, I, I ain't reached there yet. I'm right here. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm right over here. I could afford this. This is, this is fancy. This is expensive for me. And somebody else will look at that same tile that I'm looking at and say, that's nah, too expensive. Let, let me go down the line. Let me go down the cheaper section a, a bit more. All right. So I'm, I, I, I do feel like the immediate gratification is happening in some areas where, again, I could go into a store and I could buy the things that I need to build my house and get it the way that I want and feel good about it for it to look good and and do my thing. But again, 
That was because of decisions made over the past couple of years. All right. All of the delays in the parties that I have, you know, not been going to over the years has allowed me to get to this point of you've been investing in yourself. You've been building your business. You've been working on yourself. You've been spending tons of money on books, courses. And even if you're not spending money on those things, you've just been in a situation where you're not feeling run down. Even the funny thing is, is that I, this is like, this is like the, the most overweight I've ever been in my life. Because I've always been in shape. I've always played sports. I'm not accustomed to, 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 you know, being over 200 pounds, you know. So my focus is, is getting back in the gym consistently. I just started back a couple of days ago and I've been going and doing my thing. Because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm mentally and physically built for this game. Right? And so... I've had that paradigm shift with delayed gratification. So the immediate gratification isn't, you know, just the, 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 the parties or, or going out to the fanciest restaurants, buying the newest clothes, buying the latest shoes. Trust me, I want all those things too. But at the same time, when I'm spending money on clothes, when I'm spending money on the shoes, I'm looking at a lot of these things like, yo, where am I going to wear this? this is go- these are things that are going to stay in the closet or it's going to force me to go out and spend money or spend time elsewhere that I should not. I could do that later on. And so I think l- delayed gratification has also become a game because I'm like, yo, this is what I have right now. Okay, if I delay this a bit more i could turn this into something better later on let me invest over here let me spend that money over here let me go do that and that will help me get to a higher level and so i didn't spend the two thousand on the party or i didn't spend the two thousand in in the fanciest restaurant or i didn't spend the two thousand on the on the latest shoes or the latest or the latest outfits i didn't listen this is the longest i've had a phone and i you guys know me. This is this is Mr. Droid we're talking about. This is the owner of Droid Island. I've been in I've been in smartphone the smartphone industry since I was 19. I still love phones. I still love phones. I'm here looking at my OnePlus 8 Pro that is going on 3 years like, you know, I got to upgrade you. But at the same time I'm like I'm thankful that you have been lasting this long and I've been treating you really good because right now I don't want to spend money on a phone. I want to spend money on a new course so that when I do that new course and I up my stock, when it comes time to upgrade, I can spend that money with my eyes closed and not feel no way. And delayed gratification is that thing that is hurting entrepreneurs in the Caribbean. And not just the Caribbean, but, you know, worldwide. Because of how, you know, society is set up. Social media has, you know, really amped up the need for instant gratification. We're all doing these things for the gram, right? And so, if you're listening to this episode, start thinking about what gives you instant gratification, and if it's, again, and if you're, if you're a business owner, remember, when you are a business owner, especially when you are starting out or you're early in, you're, you're early in building your empire, remember, every dollar spent away from your business hurts your business. Every dollar spent away from your business hurts your business because that dollar could have gone back into your business. It could have gone back into you or your business to turn that dollar into two dollars, that two dollars into ten. You never lose when investing in yourself. But when you are spending your time, money, energy, and resources on these fleeting things, clothes, cars, you know, the restaurants, the parties, again, I'm not saying these are bad, right? I'm just saying delayed gratification. If you learn if you learn how to do that properly, 
you could win. And delayed gratification doesn't need to be 10 years, 20 years from now. It can be a few months from now. A decision you made today can bear fruit a few months from now. And so while I still feel like, yo, six years of building my business, I still feel like I just started. But the fact that I've been so consistent over the past couple of years where I've been able to put myself in situations where I'm getting notifications that, hey, you're being featured in the British Virgin Island News on Thursday. I get sent a video on Friday. I get sent a video Hey, you're, you're on the morning show in the Cayman Islands. Here's a clip of them talking about you in the Cayman Islands. Look, here's an article done about you in, in, in St. Lucia. And I'm just like, yo, when did all this happen? <laughs> and then when I'm, I'm listening to the, to, the, to, the, to the talk shows, I'm reading the articles, and I'm just seeing these people speaking about me, and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. But I'm seeing the things that people are saying about me. I'm seeing it from the perspective of, damn, like, yo, I did did all of this. And I was only able to do all of this because I got focused and I got serious. And I decided, you know what, for the next little while, I've partied for so long. I've enjoyed myself for so long. I've blown so much money. I've done the most between the age of 15 to 30. 15 to 30, I've done the most. But now I have two kids, my 14-year-old daughter. My son turned seven yesterday. Now I need to do things that allow me to show. I need to be able to do things And when I'm done doing it, I have something to show for it. So I've been investing in myself, investing in my business. I've been putting off a lot of the things that, you know, that I would have loved doing a couple of years ago. And I'm putting in the work right now. But I'm also realizing, yo, these things are satisfying too. Doing these courses and getting these skills or building my business and learning and gaining new skills, these things are satisfying and gratifying too because then you are positioning yourself as the leader in your space. And that's just generating more opportunities. That's generating more money. That's allowing you to make more of an impact in your industry. And those things are satisfying and gratifying too. And so now I'm in a situation where I have the money to go out and party. I have the money to go out and buy the tools. I have the money to go out and buy the clothes. But I'm putting those things off because we're playing a bigger game. You know what? By the time I'm done my house, I got a house. I got a house. I'm comfortable. I'm living. And I'm good. And just being creating. And we all know, or if you don't know, One of the keys to being productive is your space. Creating that space that allows you to be creative and productive in. So I've gone from moving to Trinidad and when I was living with my grandmother, I had my room and I was doing all of my work from my bed. I I didn't have a desk. I was doing all of my work from my bed. And I loved blogging more than anything else because, you know, I was always thinking, where the heck would I even set up a camera? (laughs) <laughs> I didn't have no mic. I didn't have nothing to do, no podcasting and whatever. So I blogged and I learned how to blog at a high level. And that allowed me to do great just from just from my bed, right? And so we've gone from that to now we got the home. We're doing things in it. We're creating it how I, how I see fit. So now when I, you know, when I, I, I could find inspiration in the kitchen. I could find inspiration from the patio. Right, cool. We're going to do that. We're going to get that done. You know what? I want to invest in my skill set. There's some courses and certifications I want to do. Let me go invest in that. Let me go get those things out the way so I can, again, build up my name, build up my brand, build up my business so I can earn more money and create more impact and just sharpen my skills and, and be better at what I do. We have the radio show now, Digital World. 
we partnered with Flow Business. We're doing workshops and speaking gigs and things like that across the entire Caribbean region. What people fail to realize is when you, are, when you have a large following on social media, right, especially in the Caribbean, when you look at your stats, the most, for the most part, 95% of your entire audience is just, in your, is just in the country that you were in. When a lot of these influencers look at their stats, especially on TikTok, it's just one country. We are able to now be in over 15 countries. And when I'm getting the calls from the CEO of Flow, from the directors of Flow Business saying, yo, pandemic is over. I hope you have your passport in good standing because we're going to need you in some of these other islands. To be in a situation where I'm traveling on my own name, I'm not working for somebody else. So I'm not working for Flow Business, like as an employee. I'm not working for these other companies as an employee and, you know, they're sending me here, there to travel. I am building my own name and Karen Rose is being booked to travel. Karen Rose is being booked for workshops in the UK. Karen Rose is being booked for speaking gigs in Australia. That is all a result of the decisions to delay the gratification of spending that money on other things that wouldn't have net me the results. And you know what? People would say, yeah, but we party for peace of mind. But guess what? That peace of mind is different for everybody. Peace of mind is what you define it as. And for me, my peace of mind, my mental wellness, my self-care is in creating a life that I don't have to run away from. And so for the first time in my, uh, in, my, in my adult life, for the first time in my adult life, I'm happy. I have no stress. This is coming from somebody who has been to jail multiple times, who has been run-ins with the law, been kicked out of my house, had issues with my, with my parents growing up and just doing the absolute most. Coming to Trinidad to, to just have a whole paradigm shift and to breathe and to come into a new situation where I'm like, yo, I gotta, I gotta figure myself out because if I don't, it's either gonna be the grave or the jail. You're, I was moving way too fast. And so now that I've hunkered down, gone through the process of rebuilding myself from the ground up for the first time in my life, I'm happy. I don't have, there is nothing that stresses me out. I have nothing in my life that stresses me out. Money does not stress me out anymore because even when I don't have it, even when I get the call, my daughter calls dad, I got to do X, Y, and Z. This is the cost. I'm like, man, girl, (laughs) I don't have it today. (laughs) But I'm not stressed because I know I'll get it tomorrow. You need X? All right, cool. Well, let me go and do X. Let me go and get it. My son, private school. I'm looking at these private school fees like, God damn. (laughs) But I could afford it. The contractor's calling, yo, we, this is the cost. It's gone up. And I'm like, damn, but guess what? I can afford it. So I've gone through this entire transformation process. I've delayed gratification. We're reaping the rewards from the decisions we've made over the past couple of years. And now I'm able to say yes to a lot more things, no to some things, And then I'm looking at it like, man, listen, I know I could afford, you know, the new tools right now. I could buy it right now. Let me delay that a bit more. Because if I delay it just a bit more and I go and spend this money somewhere else, I'm going to be able to afford those new things that I want with more ease. And that brings me peace. That brings me peace as well. That brings me peace. Creating the life that 
you want to live that you don't feel like you have to run away from is the highest form of self-care. Forget all the bullshit people telling you about massages, self-care. Getting our feet and hair and nails done. Having the perfect body. Listen, all that's fine. All that's what that, that, that is not the highest form of self-care. The highest form of self-care is to create the life that you don't feel like you need to run away from. One of the best memes or quotes I've seen on social media in years is, having a Benz is not a flex if you're driving it to a job you hate. I don't even, I don't have a car right now. Not that I can't afford it, but again, a car is another thing. A car is a liability, especially when you are in a situation. Now, again, everybody's different. Everybody's different. Before you guys come for me, everybody's different, right? Everybody's situation is different. A lot of y'all need a car to get to and from your place of work to make your money. No problem, right? But cars cost a lot of money as well. And for me and the business that I've built where everything is digital, if I were to buy a car today, I might drive two or three times a week because the majority of everything I do is digital. So I'm home. I don't have to leave. Half the time, I jump in an app. The groceries come to my house. Food comes to my house. Like half the time, I'm, everything is an app away, right? So I'm not always going to drive. And then I could jump in a ride share, and I'm out. And I go out a lot. And so I could jump in a ride share and do my thing. But when I look at the cost of how much I spend on a ride share a month, I'm saving money by not owning a vehicle right now. Again, delayed gratification. I'm not saying I don't want a car. I want a car because if I had a car, I would do more. I know I would do more if I had a car. But doing more is going to be putting me in a position to spend more money. And right now, I'm delaying that gratification of having the car so I can take myself to and from and do whatever the hell I want on my time. And I'd use rideshare because that's saving me money, but it's also, being, it's also helping me being more responsible with where I spend my time, money, and resources. Because Lord knows if I could pick up myself and go to the beach every other day, I'd be doing it. Especially now that everything I do is digital. I could walk with my iPad. I could work from the beach. But then I'm going to be spending money. Right? So... Delayed gratification, rather than turning around and going and spending a car, I decided to spend the money on renovating my home. Spending money on courses. Spending money on the tools and the things that are going to make me more money. So by 2023, delayed gratification, I can buy the car without batting an eye. One of the things that, that, are, that entrepreneurs are struggling with in their business is their inability to reduce their expenses because they have taken out a seven and a half year uh, car loan that they're struggling to pay and they can't reinvest in themselves or their businesses because all that money is going into their cars. There are people struggling in their business because all of their money is going into cars, clothes parties drinks and they're building a business and then turning around on monday morning talking about they're struggling or building a business is hard is is building a business really that hard or are you making it that much harder based on your decisions based on your lifestyle choices i seen a meme i seen a, i seen on a meme i seen a video on tiktok and the video on tiktok it was funny but I was like, that's, that's, that's sad in the, same, in the same breath. And the video was, um, this guy is like, if I owe you money, but you see me in a party, just know that I'm working for Carib right now. I'm not here to party. I'm, I, I am working right now. I'm working for Carib right now. If you see me in a party and I owe you money, just know I'm working for Carib. I laughed. But I'm like, nah, that's not a vibe. That's not a vibe. That's not a flex. That's sad. Right? So delayed gratification is the skill set that every single entrepreneur needs to master and really learn to thrive and build their business. There are going to be things you can spend your money on and feel good about. And perspective change is needed because 
rather than spend that money on a party, drinks, new outfit, learn how to get the same satisfaction or learn how to change your, your, your mindset around, around satisfaction so that when you purchase that new tool, that new course, that new thing that's going to help you build your business or make more money or build your brand, learn how to get satisfaction from that. And so I'm very satisfied today. I look around, I realize I'm blessed. I realize I'm grateful for every single thing happening for me today. Yes, I still have some clothes with holes in it, but you know what? We're, we're going to be in a situation soon where I can go and spend 10 grand, change out the entire wardrobe, no problem. I don't live at home with my parents. I own all my stuff. I don't have no car loans, mortgage. I don't have any of that. And that's all delayed gratification. All right, so... Think about that for yourself, your situation, right? Learn how to have that, that, uh, that paradigm shift. And I hope that this episode, you know, gave you something to think about. I hope it gave you something to think about, right? Because again, I want to see us all succeed. And I hate, there's nothing that bothers, I don't know, it bothers me when I'm seeing people on my timeline. I know y'all don't have no money. Y'all are business owners, and I know y'all don't have no money, and y'all are struggling, and I'm seeing y'all in a party. And it's like, damn, if you guys only understood or really embodied a lot of the things y'all talked about, and y'all understood what delayed gratification could do for you, you wouldn't be in in these situations. Again, that's not everybody. Again, if you are in your parties and doing your thing and your business is popping and you're successful, hey, this is not for you. (laughs) I'm not talking to you, right? And at the same time, those people who are successful, they're successful because of the delayed gratification. They've put in their time to get where they are today. So they're reaping those benefits. But if you are not in that situation, if you are not in that situation, then you have to rethink you know, what you are doing and your lifestyle choices, all right? So we have hit one hour of this podcast, and you guys know, I like, you know, one-hour episodes, is, to me, is always my limit. You know, 30 minutes to one hour, one hour is my limit, and we've hit one hour, so I'm going to just wrap that thing up, right? And again, this is all just, you know, my morning thoughts. I, you know, I had a whole episode planned out, scripted, points, everything, and I'm like, man, we're going to do that for the next, we're going to kick next week off right with that episode. All right. So if you are listening to this episode uh, for the next three Fridays, so that is today, June 17th, June 24th, and July 1st, Flow Business has Innovation Fridays, right? You guys can go to flowbusiness.co um, backslash events to learn all about it or check out Flow Business on social media. You know, there's a ton of speakers. We're talking about, um, let me see if I could pull this up real quick. But we have, like, Shensia's manager that's going to be speaking, Ramich Major. Um, who else we have? We have quite a bit of people. Like, today is today is Frank Schilling. Frank Schilling is speaking. He is a Canadian and Caymanian investor. He bought up a ton of domains in the early 2000s and resold those domains for millions of dollars to GoDaddy, which is crazy. So he's going to be speaking today. Um, my workshop today is going to be on, you know, five ways to help improve your digital customer experience. All right. I'm just trying to pull up. I'm just trying to pull up real quickly. Who else is going to be speaking on the other Fridays? Then Friday, June 24th, we have Mark Farrell. Mark Farrell is from Trinidad. He used to be the VP of Starbucks. He is now the founder of 10 to 1 uh, Rum Company. That company made some real headlines the other day uh, because Sierra became an investor into the company, so that was really good. Then we got Monique Powell. She's the CEO of Quick Cart Delivery Service out of Jamaica. And then I'm going to be doing an e-commerce workshop on that Friday as well, talking about the 10 different ways to, to, to create digital revenue within your business. So you're going to want to check that out. And then the final Friday, July 1st, we're going to be looking at or Kadeen Mayers 
from Dollar Financial, uh, micro lending service out of Jamaica. He's going to be speaking. And that, you know, Dollar Financial has been doing some amazing things, doing some crazy, crazy numbers out of Jamaica. So I definitely want to be tuning in to uh, hearing him. And then we have Yendi Phillips out of Jamaica as well. She's going to be speaking on, on, on that Friday. And Romich Major is going to be speaking on July 1st. Then there's going to be a pitch competition where you could pitch your business and win up to 15000 US dollars in cash for your business. All right. Um, and then later on today, uh, we have the Digital World. Every Friday on Freedom 106.5, we have the Digital World with myself and Samantha Best talking about a variety of different topics. Today, we're going to be talking about how blogging can help grow your brand and business, uh, building your brand and business using blogging. That's our topic for today from 12 to 3. Um, if you're in Trinidad and Tobago, you can tune in on Freedom 106.5 or if you're listening to this from, you know, anywhere else in the world, you can visit uh, the website Freedom 106.5. Just type it in Google, Freedom 106.5, and you guys can actually watch the live stream from the website, all right? So you guys can always, you guys know you guys can reach out to me on social media. That is Karen Rose, K-E-R-O-N-R-O-S-E on any social media platform, LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to me over on those platforms or follow me. I'm always talking or teaching about how to build your digital presence and monetize your platforms. Don't forget to check out the KarenRose.com website. Sign up for the newsletter or the notification list to, to be notified of any new content or workshops that we are doing. And don't forget to check out the Digipreneur.fm website to stay in tune with the podcast. That is it from me today, folks. Enjoy your weekend. And if you're in Trinidad and Tobago, enjoy the long weekend. Take care. You've been listening to the Digiboss, Karan Rose. We hope your notepad was filled after this episode. Make sure to like, rate, and review the show. The learning doesn't stop, folks. And to make sure you don't miss any gems from the Digiboss, go over and follow him on all social media platforms at Karan Rose. Folks, don't just sit there with a notepad. We need you to implement at least one thing into your business before the next episode. That's the only way your business levels up. Thanks for listening to Digipreneur FM. Now, Go be great.